This is another video about data migration from one cPanel to another cPanel. This way you can easily migrate your website from one server to another server. So process of this video is extremely simple. In this I am trying to explain the very simplest possible way to migrate your data and it is like a fastest method. In this process we are using the simplest concept. Here you can able to see that this cPanel has a storage of 500 MB. So that means we have to first take a backup and then download onto your local computer. And then we have to upload it onto the new server. So this is like a hectic process. In this process I am trying to show you the direct method from transferring this 500 MB of entire cPanel to another server directly. So we will start the process here you can consider this is a old server and you can consider this one as a new server. So we wanted to migrate our data from this old server to a new server. So for that we have to first step perform is create a FTP account onto your new server. To create FTP account just click on this icon after that enter the details. After entering the details you can able to see that the, here it is parameter directory. So in this case you can put directly public directory. So this is an important one or you can able to put a root directory. So it also been possible and here you can able to choose the quota unlimited as well. So it is based on your storage. So in this case we are using 500 so it should be a 500 plus and click on create FTP account. Okay so finally we had created FTP account. Now we have we need certain things. So in this with the very first you need a server name, second the port number, third username and fourth one is a password. Just scroll down and click on configure FTP client and here you will get your details. But here this domain will not work because we are migrating our domain and domain is already pointing to your old server. Okay, so in this case we have to use the server name. So this is the server name. Copy this and paste here. Okay, so this is our server name. Next username is already given here. So I will directly copy this and paste here. So this is all about the server details. So in this case the first detail is server name, second detail is username and third detail is server port number and fourth detail will be a password. Now we have to go to our old cPanel means like currently we are using this cPanel. So I wanted to migrate the data from this server to this one for that I had created a FTP account. Now we have to click on backup WinSAT to take a backup of our server and simultaneously once the backup completed this cPanel or this old server would automatically transfer this data to a new cPanel. So this is extremely simple. Please watch this video very carefully because I am trying to explain the all possible combinations that we need for the data migration. Okay. Also we are going to cover some speed related issues as well. Okay. So please watch this video very carefully. Okay, so here click on backup wizard. Once you are in the backup wizard, click on backup. In this case, directly click on full backup and scroll down. And here you just need to make sure that you choose the option remote FTP server. And here it is not necessary to mention an email ID or you can able to use the email ID to get the notification about the backup completion. Okay, so it is depend on you. And here you have to enter the server name. So in this case our server name is this. Username is already given here. So this is the username and port number is 21. You can able to just enter you just have to enter the slash here. It is not necessary to enter any other information just enter slash and the port number is given and now only thing is remaining is our password. So I just entered the password and now it is time to start the data backup and once the data backup complete this server automatically transfer your data from this server to this server with the help of FTP. Okay. So click on generate a backup. So backup generation process is already started. 
now i am trying to explain how the speed work okay so for that i had created a small demonstration so in this case here consider it if your storage is less than 1 gb then it might take almost 15 minutes to data migration okay so please make sure that 15 minutes you cannot do anything with this server if you have a multiple cpanel accounts and if you are a reseller so in this case make sure that if you are starting a next backup so it should be uh, after 20 uh, 15 minutes only so in this case if the storage is of 2 gb so in this case it might take 20 minutes to 25 minutes to complete a full data backup and transfer it to our new server and if it is more than or you can say a 5 GB so in this case the approximate time it should take 30 minutes so in this case let's consider you do have three C panels one C panel size is 1 GB less than 1 GB second C panel size is 2 GB and third C panel size is 5 GB so in this case how you will start the migration so first start the migration for 1 GB and if you completed this particular step after that wait for 15 minutes and once 15 minutes over you can schedule the second one the when you start the second backup so that time wait for 20 to 30 minutes then after you can able to start the next backup of 5 GB please make sure that you cannot able to start all the backups like all three C panel backup at one time so always make sure that according to this sheet always do a migration in a specific timing we do allow certain number of C panels here one thing has to be noted we do not allow more than 5 GB of restoration at a free of cost here if your storage is more than 5 GB just contact our billing department we do have a certain limitations on the C panel restorations. So please make sure that once your restoration limit crosses, we are not allowing any more free restoration from our site. There might be a reason. First one, data restoration needs a lot of server resources. This will increase the server load time and may cause low performance for the period of restoration. Second, the huge data transfer need lot of I.O. resources that reduce the hard disk power and increase the load onto the server. Third, while doing a data migration, we need a lot of human power. And we know that human powers are extremely costly. Because of that only, we always try to create automation. Now wait for the 15 minutes to complete the migration because our data was like below 1 GB. So in this case, once the data migration complete, I will resume this. Here, go to the file manager. So it is not necessary to go to the old C panel. Here, you have to go to the new C panel and click on directly file manager. So let me try to explain, okay, where our data is. To understand, click on FTP accounts. Just scroll down. And here we can able to see that here we had created the FTP account and it is on the directory home slash WHMCS. Now go to the file manager. We are already into the home slash WHMCS directory. Scroll down and you can able to see that here it is our backup data. So this means from this server data has been successfully migrated to our new server. Now here the last step is remaining. Please contact our support department or billing department. And this is the file name, best here. And this is the directory. So the directory is this one, home slash WHMCS. If you share this information with our support department or billing department, they can able to understand that your backup is already available onto our server. They can start the restoration process. Always remember we do have a certain limitations on restoration. Okay, we had already explained all the possible combinations. So hopefully you will understand the factors and have a great day. Press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update.